concentration is something that we need to quantify. And there are several different ways of quantifying solution concentration. One is mass percent. Mass percent is the grams of solute per 100 grams of solution. Standard meaning of percent, right? The part over the whole. So it's the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the whole thing. The mass of the whole thing is the solute plus the solvent. And then you multiply by 100 to get a percentage. So if we have a solution that has a concentration of 14% by mass, that means it has 14 grams of solute per 100 grams of solution. It's important to note that this denominator is the mass of the whole solution and not just the solvent. I can pretty much promise you on the next test there will be a question asking you to calculate the mass percent of a solution and I'll give you the mass of the solute and I'll give you the mass of the solvent. And I will try to trick you. I'm telling you, I will try to trick you. You have to add these two together to get the denominator. You've been warned. Let's calculate the mass percent of a sucrose solution containing 11.3 grams of sucrose and 412.1 milliliters of water. So let's assume that the density of water is one gram per milliliter. This is one of those questions. Mass percent. Well, we need to know what is mass percent. Well, mass percent is the grams of solute. What's our solute here? What's dissolved in the water? Sucrose. So grams of sucrose divided by grams of the whole solution. The whole solution is grams of sucrose plus grams of water. And then I'm going to multiply by 100 to get a percentage. Okay, so there's our equation. What mass of sucrose do I have? 11.3 grams of sucrose. Okay, so far so good. And then in the denominator, I need that mass again, 11.3 grams, plus I need the mass of water. No, that's the molar mass of water. We have a volume and we have a density. So we can calculate that. 412.1 milliliters, and I want grams. So I want grams on the top, milliliters on the bottom. The density is 1, 1.00 milliliters cancel out. And lo and behold, I get that same number back. Crazy thing about water that way. Converting between mass and volume using density is a very, very important type of conversion for a Chem 3A student to be able to do. Because it can just show up all kinds of funny places. Times 100. And I forgot to get off my cup. Now, you need to be careful when you do this on your calculator. So I'm going to do 11.3 divided by, and I'm going to open parentheses and do 11.3 plus 412.1, close the parentheses, times 100. Um, this should have three sig figs, so 2.67%. So the mass percent of that solution is 2.67%. That means there are 2.67 grams of sucrose for every 100 grams of solution. Any questions? There are lots and lots of commonly used units for concentration. These are all related to mass percent. 
I'm just going to tell you about them, but we're not going to use them very much at all. Parts per hundred is the same thing as percent. It means how many parts of solute per hundred parts of solution. Parts per million is abbreviated PPM. That's the number of grams of solute per million grams of solution. Parts per billion, PPB, is grams of solute per billion grams of solution. So the equation difference is, is very minimal. It's grams of solute divided by grams of, I won't abbreviate, solution, the whole thing, times a factor. So if we're doing parts per billion, we're going to multiply by a billion. For parts per million, you multiply by one million. Parts per hundred percent, you multiply by 100. Mass percent can be used as a conversion factor in calculations. It relates the mass of the solute to the mass of the solution. And the key to doing this is to recognize that you can write it as a fraction. The mass percent is that many grams of solute per 100 grams. So let's do an example. How much sucrose in grams is contained in a 355 milliliter 12 ounce can of soda that contains 11.5% sucrose? So let's assume a density of 1.04 grams. So there's a whole bunch of numbers in there and a chemical formula. So we've got 355 milliliters. This, this 12 ounces, this 12 ounces here, that's just to kind of give you a reference. They're saying this is the size of a can. Uh, we don't need to use that 12 at all. 11.5%. Well, 11.5 per cent means per hundred. That is equal to 11.5 grams of the solute, sucrose, per hundred grams of solution. That's what percent means. Does that look like a conversion factor? Yeah, it does. And then we have this density thing going on here. 1.04 grams per milliliter. So let's write that down. Then we need to figure out what we're going to start with and what we're going to end up with. They're asking how much sucrose in grams. So I'm actually going to write my path out here. I want to end up with grams of sucrose. That's what they're asking for. Well, these are my numbers, 155 milliliters, this grams per gram, and grams per milliliter. This cannot be a conversion factor. It's just an amount. That's usually the thing you're going to start with. So let's, let's try that and see if it works. Put 355 milliliters over here. And then I'm going to see, can I convert milliliters of, milliliters of what? Is that milliliters of sucrose? This is a solution, right? That's milliliters of the solution, the soda. Convert milliliters of solution to grams of solute. Well, do either of these have milliliters? This density does. I could use the density to convert from milliliters to grams. So I could go to grams. That's grams of what, though? The solution. This is the density of the soda. And then this relates grams of sucrose and grams of solution, so I can use that to do this conversion. Dimensional analysis strikes again.
So I'm going milliliters of solution to grams of solution um, to grams of sucrose. Come on. My stylus is not happy with me. I don't know why. So milliliters down here. Grams of solution down there. When we have grams of different things, we have to label them so that we don't make mistakes. So grams per milliliter, that's this guy right here. 1.04 grams per milliliter. Then here, I'm going to look at my percentage, 11.5 grams of sucrose. So I'm going to put 11.5 with grams of sucrose, and it says 100 grams of solution, so I'm going to put that down here, 100. And now we get out the calculator, 355 times 1.04 times 11.5 divided by 100. Um, three sig figs, 42.5 grams of sucrose. That's a lot of sugar. Any questions? Yes, if you're doing a percent, it's always that many per hundred. That's what per cent means. How many cents in a dollar? A hundred. Per hundred. Any questions?